So guys, I am back with yet another Black Myth Wukong video and today guys, I want to test out a few things not mentioned in the latest patch notes in regards to a glitch, the infinite mana glitch as well as an incredible XP or will farm which you could earn literally guys, not on New Game Plus, on your standard playthrough around 3000 XP, 3000 of that will every 20 to 30 seconds today we test how's it going guys my name is dpj now i'm giving away a copy of black myth wukong so to win one for yourself or a friend it is as simple as this drop a like on the video leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed i'll pick one winner from the comment section and announce them at the end of the week so good luck everybody okay so the infinite mana glitch i posted a few days back it kind of exploded it's absolutely it was incredible guys infinite mana meant infinite spells you could cast them over and over infinite cloud steps immobilize infinite duplicates it was utterly broken but it did make the game stupid easy i never used it on any boss but i can imagine take any kind of like difficulty out of the game that's what it would do because you could just constantly immobilize any boss and just hit them for free simple as that so how this was done was you needed a couple things so first things you needed guys was to have the um spell of cloud step have that equipped then guys you'd need the staff stance of pillar stance and you'd need this unlocked of sweeping gale and how it work was you built up a focus point once you had that focus point you could then uh, activate your sweeping gale during a light attack by just doing a light attack combo and pressing that heavy attack button and it'd do sweeping gale while you're in sweeping gale just simply spammed out that cloud step i'm going to try it now see if it still works i should get myself a focus point first though but yeah there's absolutely there's no mention of this whatsoever inside of the patch note so you can do you don't have to do it on an enemy so light light heavy and then spam out the uh, cloud step let's see just keep spamming it until you do it and now guys from this moment we should have infinite mana but we'll see can you use it again no nope, they have nerfed it yep they've definitely nerfed it yeah but there's no absolute no mention to be honest i ain't surprised like i said as soon as i posted this video i knew straight away that they would nerf this as soon as they clocked onto it and it kind of exploded everyone was posting about it so yeah it comes to no surprise to me that this has been taken out of the game but yes no more infinite mana well not this method anyway so what about that crazy infinite xp farm wasn't a glitch wasn't an exploit but can you still do so let's go back to my um shrine and we'll fast travel to where you need to be okay so the requirements for this were a little bit well, to be honest, nothing difficult. As long as you progress to chapter 4 and you had the webbed hollow unlocked, you come to a shrine eventually called the Pool of Shattered Jade Shrine. This is where we need to be at. But you also need the transformation of the Ashen Slumber. This is a two-headed rat that you can basically transform into. But when you de-transform, you explode. And there's a spot right here near the shrine where there's loads of like corpses or cocoons hanging from the ceiling you can go and stand in between the lot of them which i'll show you now uh, activate that transform deactivate it and you'll get a ton of will so yeah from the shrine guys you can see and the shrine is again did i say this i can't remember and um, the pool of shattered drip jade you would come around this corner make sure you had your ashen slumber equipped activate that like this run up between them and then from here guys just deactivate this i'm guessing still works you take all of them out and you normally get around 2700 well there we go guys so yeah this still works 100 percent. and this is a farm you can do over and over run up to it run back down here rest rinse and repeat i'm so i'm so surprised i've kept this in the game i would have thought they probably took a few of these cookies out of the game maybe um i'm not sure maybe i don't know they're the radius of the AOE effect of the D transform. I thought it was going to do. I literally thought they'd do this before they did the minor one because this just basically you can use this over and over and level up so fast. And this isn't in New Game Plus. If you do this in New Game Plus, I'm sure you're getting like closer to 8k of these worlds every single time you do this. Now I ain't got no equipment on in regards to gaining any extra will here. Uh, there's definitely items in the game. I think there's a pre-order armor set so you can get this from. There's a definitely a curious you can get it from too. Uh, with them, you're going to get over 3,000 per run here. 
easy as that guys it really is now like i said you do need the um transformation of the ashen slumber which i'll show you right here guys now i made a complete guide on this um this is right here guys it's a amazing actual transformation i'm not gonna lie but the quest around it for some people it's seemingly bogged uh, but for me it was completely fine uh, but a quick rundown of that I'll showcase to you guys on screen now but I will put a complete guide in the video description take advantage of this XP farm because it's still in the game and it still works unfortunately infinite mana has been nerfed simple as that so the Ashen Solomba transformation is tied to a short quest you can actually start pretty early on uh, so from the chapter 2 Sangate village village entrance shrine you need to progress this area and take out the Rat King and his Prince Son. And you can do this by following the path I take on screen now if you haven't done this now. I'm aware most people have progressed way past this part. If you haven't fought these yet, I'm not sure if you have to fight these. But if you haven't, you can always come back and do this. It doesn't matter. But either or, guys, you must take these out for this quest line. So once you've done this, guys, once you've took this pair out, you need to progress onto the second Rat Prince. This happens no matter what you do in regards to the first fight but there can be a different scenario in how you entice him out but either or guys it doesn't matter you will either entice him out with meat you got from the last fight or the rat king entices him out after you killed his son and he runs off either way you'll fight him and you have to take him down now once you have taken him down guys uh, you do now have to progress on all the way up to chapter 3 and get to the pagoda realm now once you are here, work your way to the first shrine of the lower pagoda. Simple as that. Once you've got this lower pagoda unlocked, from this point guys you want to head back to the Sangate village, village entrance shrine and here guys we're going to make our way towards a small building in the corner where two rats are indeed hiding. Now we ain't going to interact with the rats straight away, what you want to do is you want to make sure you take out all enemies within the nearby vicinity. There's also a two-headed rat here, you definitely want to take out too, that's very important, but leave none alive. Even those guys on the roof shooting those arrows, you can get up there by scaling up the back of this roof, but take them all out. So once you've taken out the trash, now go and speak with those hiding rats. Now if you're unsure where these are, follow this quick route I'll speed up from that Sandgate village, village entrance shrine. But once you talk to these rats, clear out their dialogue and they should mention a third rat prince. That is very important. From here guys you need to head back to that lower pagoda shrine and within the pagoda realm. And from here guys you want to follow the path I take on the screen. Now you're going to go up a floor and follow the path all the way backwards on yourself. Now here guys you should be greeted by the third rat prince. Once you fight him and take him down you get this transformation upon taking that dagger out of his body. Now having looked online about this quest line it seems to be different for other players depending on how far they've progressed the game. For other players I've heard it's basically found on the third rat prince whose dead body can be found within the cell below his actual fighting room which is very confusing but that actually is the case for some players now i've actually made a complete guide on how this transformation is obtained which i will link down in the video description it covers the entire quest line uh, mistakes people may have made progressing too far and you can correct this and go back and get it no matter what you've done or how far you are so yes i'll link that video in the video description but there we have it guys how you get the ashen slumber and how you take advantage of what has to be the best XP farm in this game. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.